Hi everybody, Nick here. Today I want to just give you, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my motives for wanting to get on the canals. Um, firstly, um, I first heard of the story of Wind in the Willows back when I was four years old. I had a tape recording read to me um, and I fell in love with the story back then and I just thought it was a childhood fantasy story. And then when I arrived in Britain, I actually realised, uh, way <laughs> canals actually do exist. Um, so it's a pretty big deal for me. You know, I'm now, you know, in the process of fulfilling a childhood dream um, to live on the canals. So, uh, you know, ever since I've been here, I've, I've joined the CRT as a friend. I've volunteered for stuff. Um, I've thrown myself into everything canal you could possibly think of. Um, you know, I'm literally bringing a childhood dream to life. So it's a very exciting time for me. Um, and, but, you know, it, it has its challenges as well, you know, and one of them is financial. Um, so my partner and I have been here just over two years and until we've been here three years, we're not eligible to apply for any kind of finance. So, um, and I'm kind of reluctant to get any kind of finance. Um, it'll probably be expensive for us as well. So, um, so I just want to get on the canals. I don't care how I get on the canals. I just want to get on the canals. So I'm making a very big compromise and we're going to buy a yogurt pot. <laughs> I, I always thought I'd regret to say that, but, um, we've got to start off, you know, small. We're ineligible to get a loan. We don't have a lot of cash. We've still got debt in Australia. Um, you know, we just want to get everything sorted. So I thought the easiest way to do that is why don't we camp on a boat for, for 12 months, get all of our debt paid off, um, save some money and then use the equity in the boat and, you know, maybe buy a, a smallish narrow boat or something like that. Um, that's in 12 months, maybe 18 months time. It depends how we go, really. We may absolutely fucking hate it. <laughs> um, I go, oh, this is fucking crap. You know, we want to go back and live in an apartment. But somehow for me, I don't think so. I, I'm just absolutely drawn to the canals and, and also the community as well. Like the, the thing I hate about living in suburban uh, Stockport is there's no community. Nobody talks to each other. Um, and, you know, I've had more meaningful conversations with people on YouTube and Facebook and stuff on all the, all the forums and stuff about canal boats. Um, that I have with anybody in my street, except my, um, lovely neighbor, Peggy, who, um, if she's watching, uh, she introduced me to a friend of hers who's just bought a narrowboat. So, <laughs> um, so that's about the only person I'm sort of bothered with in my entire street. So that's one thing I'm actually really looking forward to about moving onto the canals is the sense of community, um, and meeting people and having lovely, wonderful conversations about everything boating, you know, I can't wait. Um, so a little bit about me, you know, my past, um, my parents have always had boats. We had a half cabin cruiser back when we were living in the country, um, back in Australia. Um, we lived in a little country town called Parks and they had a little half cabin cruiser we used to take to local lakes and things like that. Uh, when we moved to Sydney, um, my parents bought a, a yacht and they had it moored here. <laughs> um, quite picturesque, don't you think? <laughs> um, so somewhere bopping around there was, was our yacht. We had to row out, we had a little dinghy over here. We had to row out to it and all that kind of stuff. It was all kind of weird, but exciting. So pit water is a huge, uh, stretch of water that runs, uh, up at Sydney's Northern beaches from sort of Bayview all the way up to Palm Beach on the inner side, but it's all sea, sea water as well. Um, so that was what I sort of grew up with. We used to take the boat out for on sail days and take it up to the, I'd take it up the Hawkesbury River for weekends away. So I've always had boats around me. Uh, and then of course, you know, um, moving to Britain, um, you know, I've been able to, you know, I've, I've, I've got this now, you know, as a new challenge, uh, which, I just love, I'm just so drawn to the history and the heritage of the canals and, 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 you know, how much, how important they were and how vital they were for the industrial revolution, you know? So, uh, yeah, completely and utterly sucked in, really. <laughs> so, um, so that's a bit about me, right? Oh, yes, the kids, right. So 
the, the stupid thing that I find about living in Britain, right, is everybody has a pet. We love pets. We love dogs. We love cats. We love birds. We love every kind of pet, hamsters, whatever, right? But if you're wanting to rent in Britain, it is really, really, really difficult to find a, a, a landlord that will allow you to have your pets. Now, surely not everybody in Britain owns their own house. And this is part of our issue as well. This is part of the reasons why I want to get a boat is so that we own it and we're not renting and therefore not answerable to a landlord that can say yay or nay on our cats because our cats are darlings. This is Kinka and this is Electra. Um, and they're almost five now. Um, and we brought them over from Australia. They're part of the family, you know, and I was gobsmacked to find when, I, when we first got here that it was really difficult to find rental properties that allowed pets. I mean, get with the program, people. <laughs> so that was another motivation for us to actually buy a boat is so the cats can just move onto the boat with us and we'll have any more of those issues. Um, that is a really big issue, I've, I think, over here and it needs to be addressed because we're not all bastard cat owners. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but anyway, so that's, that's again, one of, one of our motivators um, as well as financial and getting onto the canals because I love them so much. Um, also, you know, the third reason would be our cats. Um, uh, now, what else do I want to say? Oh, yes, so... But ultimately, this is where I ultimately want to go. This guy, um, Jenny for Jono. So Jono, um, Jono bought a shell, basically, a sail away narrowboat, and um, has fitted it out from the inside out. Um, and he's really good with all his commentary and explained things really, really well. Really well. So if you're looking to do a DIY um, narrowboat, this is where I ultimately want to go. I want to buy a shell, buy a sail away with an engine and fit it out from the inside out, exactly what John has done. That's a few years down the track. In the meantime, um, you, know, I would, you know, we can't afford that. We'd be lucky to afford maybe 3,000 pounds and that's kind of the angle that I'm looking at. You know, you know, there's a lot of people out there who A, can't get on the property ladder because it's just way too expensive. Um, they're not earning enough to warrant getting a loan anyway. And if they do, they'll be locked in for the next 30 years. Um, boating is a very inexpensive way of getting onto, you know, getting into a different lifestyle, but it's not for everyone either. Um, you know, there are certain sacrifices you'll need to make. Um, if you like the creature comforts too much, boating may not be for you. Um, you know, you've kind of get out, get over all the, um, <laughs> the toilet talk and you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, um, cause that's just part of boating life. But the rewards are there, you know. The lifestyle change, for one, will be absolutely huge for me. Um, having grown up in city most of my life, I'm really looking forward to having a bit of quiet time, you know. So, um, so I'm really looking forward to my time on the canals. But look, that's enough for me today. Um, um, as I said, you know, keep keep a look on the website. Um, keep up, you know, I'm going to set up a Facebook group as well um, to start encouraging conversation because obviously there's a lot of people out there who just want to get on the canals, you know, and lead a little, uh, a bit better lifestyle, a bit different lifestyle. So um, stay tuned for more. Um, there'll be more coming up. And eventually when I get a boat, um, I'll have tons of stuff about, you know, how to upgrade cheaply and all that kind of stuff. So cheerio for now and have a great day. See you later.